This video covers off how to rotate, zoom and dolly in Silo and how to use the viewports effectively. So we'll start by right clicking and hit create and then cube and don't touch any options, we'll just have a straightforward cube. Now that cube sits in 3D space at the moment and we want to be able to move around it and zoom in and out on it and, and look around the scene in general. Um, what I'll do is quickly Control and C, which is copy, and then Control and V, which is pasting in another cube. And I'll do that again and again. And I'll just move those, which we'll cover off later, just to show you. So we've got four cubes in space. Now, first thing to notice is that we want to rotate around an object. So if we hold down Alt on the keyboard and then either click in the middle or on the edge and then just move the mouse around you can see that wherever my mouse click is becomes the center and we move around that as you can see move all around all of the objects over the top and underneath below the, the ground plane and you're pulling from the mouse position. Okay, so while I was doing that, what you might have noticed is that I zoomed in and out, like so. So I'm holding down Alt, and using the right mouse button, and then dragging the mouse left or right. So left goes out, right goes in. These are configurable, but this is the default setting. So now a combination of those two, rotate, zoom, rotate, zoom. And you can also, while holding Alt, use the roll in and out like so. And that's incrementally zooms in and out. So now add to that one last one, which is holding down the middle mouse button with Alt. And that gives you the ability to dolly up and down, left and right. So we'll just repeat those to make sure it's quite clear. So rotate, Alt, left mouse button, rotating all the way around. Alt, middle mouse button, and Alt, right mouse button, zoom in and out. Now with a combination of those, so holding down the Alt button and just using the three buttons, you can navigate all the way around these objects. You can even navigate through them. Okay, that's fundamental to the basics of subdivision modeling. And uh, the quicker you grasp the ability to move around in 3D space, the quicker you can navigate around your object. There's one slight difference to that, and you, you can switch on if you need to, which is this in display walkthrough mode. And what that will do is give you the ability to look around as if you're holding the camera. So that can help when you're, if you imagine that that's a city block and you're in a scene and you're looking up at a building that now gives you the ability to look around the scene called walkthrough mode obviously because we can now do that as if it's a first person shooter I'm still using the same commands holding down alt all the time and I'm just moving around the scene or if you wish to fly you just go up yeah. That's walkthrough mode. So we'll switch that off. Okay, so this is a single viewport that you can see in front of you. We'll just open up a new scene. I'm going to load in. basic cube shape. Now, the reason I've loaded just this odd shape in is because it can, in the viewports it will show you uh, a lot easier the, um, the angle that we're viewing at. So, starting off with the single viewport here, we'll hit spacebar and we go into what's called a quad view. And in there you have a perspective view, 
and because I was just using that I've clicked in it I'm now actively um, affecting the object that's in there if we click in this bottom one we get a front view which is a flat plane single plane view same object but seen from the front click in this one seen from the top same and this is a UV 2D view for when we're texturing so if we go to display and look at viewport layout then we can see a single viewport horizontal split layout sp vertical split layout three view layout three view layout and four view layout so what we're going to do is look at some of those so horizontal layout which can be useful for um, certain types of vehicle modeling or um, if you just need two screens on um, with very low objects this one wouldn't be too useful for this type of model because it's vertically quite high so we'll go to display and we'll do a vertical split as you can see there would be quite useful now the 2D view is no use to me at the moment because I've got a perspective and I'd like to see one of the other views so if I click into the UV mode and then if I use keyboard 1 gives me another perspective view which is exactly the same keyboard 2 front 3 bottom 4 left keyboard 5 is the top keyboard 6 is the right so presuming that that would be the one I wanted we'll then start acting in that window again you've got a single plane so I'm using the um, tools the the commands that I've already shown you which is alt left mouse button isn't gonna really do too much useful because it's just spinning around in a single plane we've got the middle mouse button is pan which is very useful in a single plane and then alt right mouse button gives us a zoom in and out so a combination of the two you can affect parts of the object that you need in a very controlled way so if we just go back and look at one or two more so let's have a look at three and again we can change these to any that we require just by using the keyboard shortcuts and at any time if you want to go to one of those single views so for example if we want to use full screen on here we hit we put a mouse cursor into that window and hit space and it gives us that window space and we're back if you want to see that one space and you see it this one like so so very quickly we've been able to move around our object zoom or zoom in and out to give us the size we need for the piece of uh, work that we're doing we can get into different viewports and very quickly be able to um, work on different parts of the the object in a size that would suit the piece of work that's that's being done